Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will see how to create prepayment functionality in Business Central. If your business operates in a fast-paced sector or industry, you will find that more often than not, you need your customers to submit an initial payment before you can provide them with a product or service. Or, if you are a vendor, you may be required to submit a payment before the product or service is delivered to you. This is where the prepayment functionality in Dynamics 365 Business Central comes in handy. This feature allows you to not only send an invoice and collect deposits or part payments from customers, but also ensure that all part payments are posted against an invoice. So, to create prepayments, first you have to assign prepayment percentages on customers' or vendors' cards. So here we are going to assign a prepayment percentage to the customer card. For example, let us go to Marty's. This is a new customer I created for the demo. We have to go down to the Payments Fast tab. Select your prepayment percentage. Here we will enter 100. Then we will go and create a new sales order. Click on New and select a customer. That customer is Marty. Then what we have to do is go down to the Lines Fast tab and select an item. We will select the Athens desk and then enter the quantity. And after that, what we need to do is go to Actions, Posting, Prepayments, and Post Prepayment Invoice. Do you want to post a prepayment for this order? And then we will click on Yes. To view the prepayment invoice that we have just posted, you need to go to Related Prepayments and click on the Prepayment Invoice. There it will show you the prepayment invoice that we have just created or posted. Then you can go back to the customer card and register for the prepayment payment. Go to navigation, click on customer. Go into action here. Click here to register customer payments. Here you can see the open prepayment invoice for the customer. You can just simply click on this checkbox and then just go to posting and post the payment. Alternatively, you can also go back to the customer card, click on actions, and post the prepayment through the cash receipt journal. Enter the posting date and select the document type. Select the account type as customer. We will take the balancing account as a bank account and then select the account that you want to create a payment from. Then you need to scroll right and click on this option. It applies to the document type that is invoice and then select the document number and click on OK. Now you can see the amount has been auto-filled in here. You can go to Post and Post the Cash Receipt Journal. Then you can go back to the customer card or the sales order. You can see the status as Pending Prepayment. Now we have paid the prepayment percentage, so we can go ahead and release the order. First, let's just go and view the ledger entries for the same order. Just click on Related then History, and click on Ledger Entries. Here you can see the invoice and the payment made by the customer. Now you can go back to the sales order, click on Posting, and post the sales order. Or you can first release the order, and then go ahead and post the order. The order has been successfully posted. Now you can go to Navigate, and click on Customer again to view the entries. Go to Related again, Click on History, and select Ledger Entries. Here now you can see that the balance due for the invoice is zero, because we have already paid the amount as a prepayment. So that is it. That is how you use the prepayment functionality in Business Central. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. And do like and share this video. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new updates. Thanks for watching.